continue with that tradition. Okay. Hey, I'm Mary Beth Brandon from uh, the Ecological Auctions Network, uh, the Fukushima Fallout Awareness Network, and the Fukushima Response uh, Bay Area. And I'm representing uh, all of those groups right now in urging you to go ahead and pass the resolution um, in support of the international rescue of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear facility. Many people may not know that Fukushima has been pouring hundreds of tons of intensely radioactive water daily into the Pacific Ocean and emitting from the triple meltdowns uh, and the other damaged radioactive um, fuel rods, billions, billions with the B of Becquerel's, which is a dis disintegration per second, billions of the uh, Becquerel's per hour daily since March of 2011. So all of this is traveling across the Pacific and is going to impact us here. And uh, not only uh, us, but the whole planet. But TEPCO, the company that operates the plant, um, has lied uh, um, and tried to deny the scope of the problem. Uh, the, they didn't even admit that there had been three meltdowns until months after it had happened. Uh, and TEPCO's motivation, as all companies, is to make a profit. And dealing with this unprecedented triple meltdown and accumulating radioactive water to deal with it um, is not within their expertise which is why we're asking for an international panel to be formed by the United Nations and to urge this to happen in behalf of people across the planet. Uh, the Japanese government wants to hide the facts. They want to try to pretend that it's all uh, just fine and th that it's safe enough to hold the 2020 Olympics in Japan. And the U.S. government uh, consistently has policies that favor the nuclear industry and it wants Japan to continue to be their nuclear bulwark uh, in behalf of the U.S. against China and Russia. So they've just passed, um, a push Japan to pass a state secrets act that will criminalize information sharing and will make it even more difficult to get information that we need to protect ourselves from the radiation. What we need is um, to have an independent panel of experts appointed by the UN to make recommendations and have access to the site and to help this company that doesn't have the expertise to do what, what they need to do to mitigate the dangers. This may take decades. It, it, it takes decades in a normal decommissioning of a, a non-exploded reactor. And now we have three exploded reactors as well as melt crews to deal with. Um, a study by scientists from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and uh, together with Germany's GMR Institute, um, have shown that the radioactivity from the water will be moving across the Pacific in a plume, in a concentrated plume, and will hit the West Coast in, uh, estimates vary, but as early as uh, 20, uh, early 2014, maybe March of 2014. And uh, Japanese oceanographers have calculated the same thing. So we urge you to pass this resolution calling for this independent panel to be uh, formed uh, to, to help make recommendations and to ensure that there will be experts who are motivated by protecting the public and not just covering this up. This is uh, essential. There is no safe level 
of ionizing radiation, and that's according to the National Academy of Sciences um, Beer 7 report that was published in 2007. And uh, the reality of the full damage of Three Mile Island and of Chernobyl has been covered up and confused by the industry and governments who want to continue using nuclear reactors and weapons. So it's very important that we do what we can at the local level, and I really thank you for bringing this to the City Council, um, John and Larry. Thank you so much, and we urge you to pass this. You're welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> To follow up on what Mary Beth was talking about, there are some websites you can go to to get um, real news on this subject. One is eon3.emfblog.net. Uh, Another one is enenews.org. Another one is fairwinds.org. And another one is beyondnuclear.org. And if you'd like to get those um, websites from me again, I can do that. Also, um, in response to finding out that the plume was going to hit one of my favorite regions where I go to gather seaweed every year, which is Mendocino, um, the Lost Coast, one of our largest treasures. And the idea that, our, that we can lose access to one of the tools that actually helps to fight radiation, which is our incredible seabeds. Uh, that's where most of our seaweeds come from, actually. And we're trying to find out now what, we know that some seaweeds tend to be somewhat radioactive anyway because they take up uh, radionucleotides that are already in the seawater. Some of them take them, them up in a very big way and we need to find out which ones we should and which ones we shouldn't be eating. Um, but we also know that the levels that we are allowed to um, ingest here are much higher even than Japan. We really need to be talking about that, and I hope there's something about that in, um, in, in, this, in this resolution because there are no safe levels, and it's cumulative in your body. And we see our friends and neighbors getting sick, and we know that we need to be really careful of our health these days. So to that end, we are putting together a series of informational events for practitioners in our area. Um, and we are going to be talking about protocols for radiation, for making sure that we have uh, the materials and the medicines available to us locally. And um, they will also be available in our local health food stores. Um, we are going to also start having informationals for people on Sundays that will be free so people can also start to learn because it's a very overwhelming subject. It's a subject that you first hit, you first hear about it and you just kind of go into denial. It's a very frightening subject because radiation is forever coming. Sorry. Thank you. I'm Jim Heddle from the Ecological Options Network. Uh, I've been reporting on and helping to organize on the nuclear issue for almost 30 years. But I've never seen a, uh, an incident uh, as revelatory as the Fukushima ongoing disaster. It proves beyond uh, contradiction that the nuclear industry is essentially a criminal enterprise. It's nuclear technology, both weapons and uh, energy production, uh, are the quintessential totalitarian technology. They depend on secrecy, on control of the population, of um, robbing from the public purse, without the consent of the governed. And I think the draconian law that is now being pushed uh, by the United States to be passed in Japan, it rips the mask off the illusion of transparency and responsibility and safety of the nuclear industry. And I strongly support your consideration and passage of the Fukushima resolution before you tonight. Thank you very much. Sir. I just want to say thank you to Mary Beth and Valerie. I can't think of your name right now. Jim. Jim. Um, Mary Beth was a lot more eloquent with her words. I mostly just kind of grunt and go. 
when it comes to environmental stuff like Fukushima. It's like, we all know it's bad. We know it's really bad. What to do about it? I don't know. But I know that doing nothing is a lot worse than just feeling bad and like sticking our heads in the sand and fight or hiding from it. So you can't hide from it. That kind of stuff is affecting all of us. Our children, everything's children, basically all life. And you know, it's basically evil. Thank you for doing something about it. And I really hope that we all get off our asses and do something about all of this crap globally. Because if we don't take care of the environment, they're going to take care of us, and they are. I did correspond with uh, a disaster preparedness office locally about any preventative measures. Um, and the response was a resounding nothing. Um, I renewed my correspondence with them last week. I have yet to hear a response. But, uh, there was an inquiry made, for example, about distributing iodide tablets to school children. The state responded with, absolutely not, we're not going to do that. And in the meantime, no one is monitoring radiation levels on the West Coast. And that is called for in the West Coast. There are some independent monitors, though. Right. So Gov government is not doing its job. All in favor? Aye. Aye.